Hey everybody, welcome to the Fired Up with CJ show. We are in part two talking to Bob Hillary about his book, Simplify, a Manual for Modern Times. And um, we were talking about um, Bob's experience of being unhooked um, from society, living off the grid, no electricity, no gas, no Wi-Fi. And um, Robert, I wanted, or Bob, I wanted to ask you about um, going into details about, so you said you removed yourself from society and all its trappings, and from the outside, you could see the dark side of it and how it traps us, places us in a place of fear, anxiety, and addicted to um, technology, foods, um, and then that, that we're sort of asleep, because you said that you woke up, which presumes that we're asleep. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about the specifics of what you noticed when you were unhooked. Okay, well, um, the, for the main things that I, I'll tell you a quick story. Like basically, I, I, I did have a phone and I now use a phone, but I spent uh, two years actually without a phone. But what happened, I was out for a walk in the hills where I was living in the mountains and I lost my phone. And because obviously in the hills, there are no mobile phone shops. Mm. Um, I wasn't able to buy another one. And I noticed within a few days that I started, I was starting to feel very different. Um, my experience of life was starting to feel very, very different without a phone mm. in a good way. Mm. I started to notice that I was feeling cl much clearer. Like my thoughts were clearer. Mm. Uh, I was able to sort of, think more rationally, uh, follow, follow my, follow thoughts through, um, really effectively. Uh, I was able to make better decisions. Um, and I noticed I had more energy. I was feeling kind of lighter, less foggy. Um, and so basically I made the decision to not, to, to not buy another phone for, until I could go to a phone shop, which my, and actually, that experiment turned into a two year without a phone experiment, which was probably really annoying for my friends and family, but a very interesting consciousness experiment for me. Uh, and my mind and my consciousness, I mean, this, my experience of moving off grid was a, it was a massive wake up. My, 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 it was an explosion for my consciousness, if that doesn't sound too hippy-dippy, uh, in terms of I had a big wake-up, and um, that was awesome. And, and, was and now I'm kind of, Tell me a little yeah. bit about your wake-up. Um, was it that um, it was, it sounds like you definitely had clarity of mind. Um, and did you have, like, spiritual experiences as well? Because when I think of wake-up, it's usually some experience of some sort that someone goes through um did you have both or just the clarity was the main aspect of the waking up of the mind um well clarity has been a big part of it um learning to to live my life um according to my higher purpose mm has has been the big one for me of like mm. before i did that experience i was hooked into the grid i was hooked into society i was caught in it and that was why i had the urge to do something about it to get out because mm. it was like my soul was like ah enough i can't do this anymore there's got to <laughs> be another way you know and i think a lot of people are feeling like that right now mm. you know maybe i was a little bit at, one step ahead of the game for whatever reason. Um, but I, I, my understanding is that I actually, my understanding is, is that humanity as a whole on this planet is right on the verge of, of a massive wake up, which is mm -hmm. pretty epic and a bit scary because, um, what happens if you've got 7 billion people all all waking up you get a lot of chaos that's what you right. get and right. we're already seeing that you know we're seeing you know our government systems are not working very well 
a lot of things are not working very well. They're not working very well because they're due for a change and an upgrade mm-hmm. because, because, um, because everyone's, because the planet's waking up right. and we have been asleep. We have been asleep. It's, uh, astrology shows us clearly we've been living in a, in a, an era for the last however many tens of thousands of years where we've essentially been asleep and now that era is ending and we're, we're moving into an era where we are we're going to become more awake which is really exciting um but it's going to involve um it's going to involve us all having to make a lot of changes to our lives because our, the way our lives have been set and designed is pretty much according to how society's told us to 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 to, to create our lives yeah and some of those foundations are are not so strong so we might have to change things a bit um, which is basically what my book's about. It's like a how to how to change your your life and live more consciously in these times book. Um, mm. That's kind of where I'm coming from. Yeah, I mean, from at least from talking to my own friends and my own experiences is that we, from my own experience, this COVID has been about taking habits that I have and um, looking what happens when things have to be put on a pause and you're unplugged from normal reality. So you could all, you could say that the COVID COVID has caused us to be at home by ourselves, disconnected, unplugged. And I think that what has happened for myself and it seems other people is that it gives you a sense to slow down and pause and look at your life and saying, well, I used to do it that way pre-COVID, but do I need to do it this way now? And why did I even do it that way to begin with? And do I not, you know, so all those kinds of things sound like um, a reevaluation of um, what was and the trappings and fear and anxiety and addictions. I think that some of those things you can see and some of those, I think you have to have the lens of stopping. Cause I think I'll, I'll, I've noticed that some of my friends, they just want to continue to continue. So even though they've been put in a pause situation, they don't want to pause. So they go and go to Hawaii where there's less restrictions so that they, don't have to deal with the pain of pausing and being by themselves and alone. <laughs> it's, I just think it's interesting. So I don't know. I do think that is an opportunity for people to wake up, whether they take it or not, and whether it they learn from it in terms of their own fears and anxieties that come up. That's, I guess, the thing. So let's actually in the next section talk about um, your book and some of the ideas that you have for people who they're, you know, their thumbs up. We believe in, in what you're saying. We want to do it. Tell us now how to move forward. So in the next segment, we'll just be talking to kind of the practical realities of we are living in an unplugged way um, in our own ways here in COVID land. Um, And what does that mean now about now that we recognize that things have changed, things are changing, and it's an opportunity to transform how we we can move forward. So thank you so much. And we've been talking to Bob Hillary about his book, Simplify, a Manual for Modern Times. It means so much to me that you're listening to the show. I would love your support in any way by giving me comments below or to subscribe to the show or share the show with friends. Thank you again for your support, love and blessings.